Hello and welcome to the Smart Reporting video sessions. I am Sachin from Smart Reporting team. So I will be sharing some troubleshooting steps on utility. So Smart Reporting onboarding utility allows you to add or remedy users into the Smart Reporting. But what about the users which gets created after the onboarding process has been completed? So for that, uh, we have a user sync utility which maintains an automatic synchronization between AR system users and smart reporting. So this user sync utility is designed using the Penta framework which creates a job to sync the updates made by the AR system user form and CTM people form. So whenever there is an add, modify, delete operation is performed, so the corresponding job is get signal which is scheduled at the time interval of 12 hours. The job is controlled by the escalation RSR update completed status that runs every 12 hours and checks for any synchronization request. You can very well change the job frequency by changing the value of that escalation. So in case user face any issue with the user sync execution, then there are a couple of forms that we usually look for to resolve the user sync issues. So these are the listed forms that you can see here. So UDM variable form actually holds the AR server details which is uh, input for the user sync capability. There is another form smart reporting server info. So this form holds the smart reporting server and other details which is also the input for user sync. So these two forms holds the data of a smart reporting related things which actually gets pushed at the time of onboarding process. So as I mentioned in the earlier slide that you can use an escalation to invoke the user sync utility manually as well. So there is actually another form which you can use to initiate the user sync execution which is RSR execute user sync config form. So in the upcoming slide, I will be showing you the exact forms and the values which are responsible to initialize the user sync. You can see the list below for the another forms, UDM execution status, UDM execution instance, and UDM execution. So these are the forms which are integrated with each other, which are actually responsible to get the user sync job complete. So here you go with UDM variable form. So this actually holds the AR server information. Then there is a smart reporting server info form, which has the entry for the smart reporting host. So it depends on the configuration of the reporting server. It can be the direct reporting server host name, or it can be the load balancer host. You can also will be able to see the user creation filter qualification. So in case any specific qualification being used during the onboarding process, you can see that information here. So whenever there is an issue with the user sync, let's say for example, smart reporting server is not reachable or the ping for the smart reporting server is getting failed or any certification error related to smart reporting application. So for those errors, you can very well validate the first thing into this smart reporting server info form is to check whether the reporting related reporting server related host names port and related information is valid in this form or not. So there is another form UDM execution status which holds the execution status for the user sync utility. So in case the current execution is uh, not working or it is waiting for something then you will be able to see the corresponding status here. That was the first part of troubleshooting user sync utility. Stay tuned for the second part. Thank you.